The story you are about to hear is true. Only the names have been changed. That's crazy stuff going on. What colours going on? It's like magnesium burning or something, I don't know. Little fine bits of uh, crap flying around, I don't know. Some green going on, it's like magnesium burning. Right, I've decided what I'm going to do is just get rid of it. Temperature out. Uh, temperature. I'm going to let it go up temperature again. And then um, I'm just going to pull this out because I don't like it. Yeah, because there's nasty white crap coming out of it. Uh, it's obviously slag or something like that. There's nasty white stuff coming out. It's probably an impurity in metal, my guess. It's my best guess. But yeah, it's making a right mess of everything. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour it out into a little crucible and just see what happens when I pour it out, see what it looks like. Um, I might have to do this twice just to clean the brass up. I might have to pour it out, leave all the scum behind, and then get left with maybe one crucible of good, good clean brass, and then heat it up again, and then maybe use it. So trial and error. That's why we're doing it. Okay. Well, here's the um, brass I poured. I put angle grinder on it. It turned out okay. It was uh, pretty solid. The brass and then these bits I cut through the top to see what it's going to be like and uh, yeah it's okay so it's only the slag really I guess it's on top and the brass itself turned out okay and I'm going to cut the top off I'll zero in on that one you know to cut the top it cleaned it a little bit and then I just thought right I cut the top off but it's actually Solid bit of brass. So I think all that mess and crap was just a slag off the top, you know, from the, the dirty stuff out of metal. Um, yeah, living down, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that made the right mess in the crucible. I've, I scraped loads of crap out of it yesterday, which is when I've done that, of course. A bit of brass there, but yeah, made a right mess. So I'm uh, probably going to think twice about doing that again. Here's a little tiny bit I poured into the uh, last little bit of remainder. But I think it's only like a couple of mil, maybe, just, well, maybe two mil, which is just a crap on the top. But uh, I'm going to put it back in there again and see, hopefully it won't do the same thing. But... Um, I don't know if I've got any tips on the reason why it was making all that white powdery stuff because that was yeah a bit nasty any tips on that would be handy thank you very much leave in the comments all right made the right mess all that slag that was off the top um as you saw I made a couple of little um ingots and a little bar of the brass um melted them down again and it's clean clean brass this time it's all turned out quite nasty looking that one you can see that it looks horrible doesn't it but the actual um cast itself didn't turn out too bad a bit thick but here's one i made earlier so to speak turn it around so you can see that better all right here so yeah, the face of that one didn't turn out too bad. I just put angle grinder on it, you've got to polish it off a little bit more. I just put an angle grinder on it. You can see the uh, difference. Looks a bit gold looking almost, doesn't it? Yeah, it's come out okay. But yeah, I don't know what I've done wrong there really. Um, yeah, I mean, actually, that's kind of probably better than 
Oh, the copper ones. There's a copper one next to it. The copper one's a bit thicker, that one there. Um, yeah, I don't know what I've done wrong. It's um, quite nasty. Because anyone knows why brass was given off a load of white dust type thing in the slag. Well, any hints and tips would be much appreciated. Okay, cheers guys. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers. Bye.